What's up YouTube? We're back with another video and this one is something I guess I should share with everybody that looking for cheap Funko Pops for yourself, your friends, your family, giveaways, Christmas presents, nine all the things that happen at this lovely time of the year running right up to Christmas. Christmas is coming up quickly is if you didn't know, check your five below. Go check your five below. Five below today I went to two of them. One whole lot of new stock the other one pretty much the same stuff not as much new stuff but did have a 2018 one piece pop um that was all the one thing i went extremely damaged i didn't grab it um i mean i also don't do anime so it doesn't really matter to me uh so i left them all i didn't really care that much i thought it was cool that they had 2018 pops but i did grab a couple at the first stop the second stop, like I said, had everything I already saw, so I didn't really need anything. Um, around here, like I'll post, oops, go that way, a picture of what my Five Below looked like right here. There'll be a picture of Five Below there. So you can kind of see kind of what my Five Below had. Maybe your Five Below had something different. But let me know in the comments below. Did your Five Below have something different? While you're down there, while you're down there making leaving comments also hit that like button hit that subscribe button because we have a good time here we love to have some fun let's have some fun let's all this good stuff that i just posted i just posted a new grail right there he's right there you can see him in my background boom dark small glow in the dark that new grail that i just pulled the other day i posted that me opening the box and i posted an up close and personal view of it so you guys can enjoy that so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also also while you wait no hold on after this video go check me out on tiktok shiny 013 just like my username it's exactly the same information is in the description box below so in case you forgot by the time you i was done with this video you can go check the description box so let's talk five below five below has been Hot with Funko Pops and cold with Funko Pops. Like, one day you'll go in and they'll have all this good stuff. And the next day you'll go in and there'll be nothing but minis. If not just keychains, which I have seen in my local Five Below. I have seen minis and keychains. I have seen full-size Pops, minis, and keychains. I've seen nothing but minis. I've seen nothing but keychains. So, I've seen it all in my local Five Below. Today I was surprised when I went in. I've heard stories of all this new stuff. None of it's really new. It's all like overstock that Funko has that they're shipping 800 different places and Five Below is getting a lot of it. I have actually saw um, seen today Target exclusives. You heard me correctly. Target exclusives and I have the pop I saw. Uh, I think it's buried behind something. She's down in the corner. The Sylvie Blacklight Target exclusive was at five below for five dollars and ninety-five cents. I saw that today. I saw five of them at my local five below. So, yeah, it's kind of heartbreaking when you think about like you spent twelve, thirteen, fifteen dollars on a pop, and then in a couple months you see it at a, for six bucks. Like, yeah, that's kind of heartbreaking. It sucks, but it's nature of the beast. They probably thought because she's fought, she's Marvel, she's Blacklight, and they rode that Blacklight train to the moon. That she would do better, and apparently she did. So, I did not spend full price on when I got mine. They would buy two, get one free. So, I spent like eight bucks on it. Or whatever. So, it doesn't really matter to me. But, at the same time, it's kind of heartbreaking. You could have saved a couple bucks. So, that's being said. Then, what else did they have? They had um, a new Darts Vader that I literally know just came out this year. Um, saw that one. Saw... Um, Knucklehead from the Five Finger Death Punch. Saw the One Piece one. Saw... What else did I see? The Rugrats ones. I saw Angelica. I know that kind of hurts because I have Angelica. So I was hoping I'd find Chucky. They didn't have Chucky. Just Angelica. Um, saw that one. Uh, I don't know what I saw. Yeah, so... <laughs> Look at the picture. The picture was posted. You can see it. Uh, I'll post again. So you look at this. And you can see kind of what I saw. But like I said, I grabbed two. 
I grabbed two for myself. Uh, these are going in my personal collection, and one I bought because I'm a fan of the movie, and the other one I bought because it reminded me of a good time of my childhood and stuff I used to watch on TV all the time. So, I say we start with the one that reminded me of what I used to watch on TV all the time. Now, if... I don't even know if they still because I don't watch MTV anymore. But you remember the MTV Movie Awards, MTV Music Awards, they gave away Moon Men. Moon Men was the greatest thing ever. You wanted, you wanted a Moon Men when you were a kid. You wanted one. You wanted a Moon Man. Now, they changed it and Funko went exclusive and called it Moon Person. But, it's fine. I get it. We have the MTV Rainbow MTV Moon Person. Now, this used to be called a Moon Man back in the day. Now, they changed the Moon Person. It's fine. I don't care. But you wanted one of those trophies as a kid. And we're actually going to open this up. Uh, this is a 2022 20, pop. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I always wanted one of these trophies when I was a kid. I thought they were the coolest things ever. There's so many things that did like random things that you could actually see the Moon Man. They had different random trophies at some convenience shop. But you like, and they, they were like cheap, cheap plastic. They were never metal. Like you could probably wouldn't spend the money on a metal one, but why? But for six bucks, I needed this in my life. And this is another pop I'm probably just going to keep out of the box. Because I think it's really cool. I like everything about this. It is the MTV Moon Man. Was the MTV thing just like... Something feels loose, but I'm not really sure what. I'm not really sure what. But you can look at this base. This base says MTV. And it says M M Video Music Award. I think this is great. I absolutely love this. So, this is going to be my own little personal trophy. This is a 2021. The box says 2022. The FM number on the bottom says 2022. Whatever. He's still cool. He's going to be sitting on my shelf somewhere. I don't know. What's actually? I think he's just banging at the flag. But it's still cool. I like this a lot. This is my own personal MTV trophy. Hey, hon, we did it. We did it. I won the award. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I won. I won. Love me. I won. I am awesome. Anyway, so I would like to give a shout out to my biggest fans. Anyone that follows me here. Anyone that follows me. Take part. Anyone that supported me from the very beginning. Thanks for this award. No. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I actually really like this. So six bucks, five ninety five. You can get yourself a moon man. He's pretty cool. I like it. I like the base. I like the fact that he looks like the trophy. That actually, actually makes me happy. So that's kind of cool. So if you've always wanted one, but you never wanted to drop the money on one, and didn't want to get one from eBay, go check your Five Below. Five Below had, had them. They had lots of them. Then the other one, which I don't really want to start this set, but I might have to, is a 2021 pop of probably one of my favorite movies growing up. And I remember the scene... It's when the family, the, the parents got adjusted. It is. Barbara Midland in her <laughs> Beetlejuice adjusted form. This is when she got adjusted. This is such a cool pop. Again, six bucks. Can't go wrong. I absolutely love this piece. This is another one that's really cool. Which means out of the box you come. So... I'm a big fan. I love Beetlejuice. And we're going to Universal soon. So definitely, definitely, definitely follow me on TikTok. Because you will see Universal stuff. Go follow my wife on TikTok. She will play post on Universal stuff. And oh, 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 we have a surprise. We have a surprise. Remember, do not say his name three times. Beetlejuice. 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 Don't. 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 But anyway, nice, nice little touch. So it's on the box. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to Universal um, for the holidays. Going early December. So that's cool. And I'm hoping uh, Bill just is roaming around. We can just hope. Come on, Barbara. Come out of the box. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. Ooh, 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 this is cool. This is so cool. So she has these little feet. Like, so she's not, she is super heavy. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. I don't think you're going to stand by yourself. You definitely need the base. You kind of balance by yourself. That's pretty impressive. 
She kind of balances by herself, but she does come with a little stand. Boom. So you can like balance her up. But she is so cool. She's super top heavy though. I absolutely love this. Yeah. Let me think of Barbara. You like Barbara? I like this piece. I really do. She has a ring on too on her finger. You can clearly tell. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but she has a ring on her finger. A wedding ring, a little hands, a big mouth. Yeah, the stretched out face. The teeth pointing out weird. Yeah, this piece is awesome. I love this. I don't know if I'm going to go for the entire set. But if I find them at a low price, maybe I might. That's cool. I like that piece. I like that piece a lot. So for six bucks, she does stand. But I'm definitely going to use the base because she scares me standing like that. I think she's going to fall. So, that's all I got for you guys today. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these pieces are worth the six bucks that I spent on them? Did you go to Five Below and find some of the other pieces? There's some, apparently some super rare and exclusive pieces at Five Below right now. Check it out. You might get lucky and find one of those super rare exclusive pieces that everybody's on the hunt for. I had none in mind. Like I said, they had anime. They had Disney. They had Universal. They had Marvel. They had, of course, the One Piece, the, the Rugrats. They had... Halo, they had... I'm trying to remember what the other one I saw had. There was another one. I can't remember. What that anyway. So that was fun. That's a fun, it was a fun. It was a fun shopping trip to Five Below. I found stuff. My dad found stuff. Lots of fun stuff. But for six bucks, I don't think you can go wrong for something that you can collect, you enjoy. It just becomes a part of who you are when you collect like this and you enjoy it. It's all about enjoying collecting. Remember... Collect what you like. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks. If you enjoy it, you're not hurting anybody. And you're having a good time. And this is how we build this community. And we all want to have fun together. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, go check out your fire below. See what you can find. And until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.